Peace to the gods, peace to the earths, and all of the righteous families of the planet. It's your big brother Fahim, aka Day Son of Law. Assalamu alaikum to all my Muslim God family. Um, just up early today, you know, just handling some bi, you know, little business, you know. But um, man, who saw that debate with brother Riza Islam and uh, brother Ishmael Bay? Man, I ain't gonna front, man. I'm a little tired this morning because, you know, the other uh, night, you know, went to, you know, support one of my people's, you know, um, little performance or whatever, a little, little showcase joint out here. And um, one of my car brothers hit me like, yo, Lord, yo, Brother Ben X, go to his new pay. You know, shout out to the soldier, Brother Ben X. You know, he got his uh, other channel, little backup channel. You know, that's real messed up what they did to the to the young brother, man. You know, you know, stopping his page like that, man. But, yo, they can't stop the soldiers. We already know that. The young lions, you know what I'm saying? Brother Ben got a new backup page. Uh, you know, brothers definitely need to, you know, check that out and, you know, subscribe and, and, and check them out. Also, Brother Reza Islam, too. Check out his joint, too, and subscribe to his page. But, yo, the brother had it posted on his backup page, man, and... When I clicked to it, it was like mad long. It was like two hours. It was over two hours. So I had to kind of watch it in little spurts here and there, you know. But, man, I, yo, <laughs> that's all I could do, man. Applaud the brothers, man. Yo, that was real good, man. The brother that held it or was hosting it, uh, I didn't even get that brother's name. Uh, he was a Moorish brother, though. I saw him with the, with the fez on or whatever. Um, you know, salute to you, brother. You know, I don't even know you catch your name, you know, part and self, you know, but, um, man, I was beautiful, man. That's all I could say, you know, and, you know, inshallah, one day I would hope that the nation of gods and earths and the nation of Islam could have this same discussion, the five percenters and the five percent nation of Islam and the five percenters in the, in the nation of gods and earths, that, that would be beautiful, man, you know, live and direct in person or, online just like that you know set up a little panel and yo i mean that was really some scholarly stuff that they was doing man and i really appreciate that i learned a few things you know what i'm saying you know that i didn't know about dianetics and scientology and stuff like that you know that the brother uh reza was mentioning when he talked about the sea org and the you know it was a lot of things you know what i'm saying that he was mentioning but uh, you know, my take on it, though, for the most part, you know, um, brother Ishmael Bay, you know, um, he's not a Moor in the Moorish Science Temple. He's actually in the Nation of Islam or uh, a student of the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad. He's not registered in the Nation of Islam or nothing like that under the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. Um, and it was another brother as well, brother Kevin, I believe his name was, brother Kevin. Um these are just students of the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad, you know, like myself, you know, we're not registered in the Nation of Islam uh, as followers of the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. You know, only difference, I guess, with me and them is I still respect Minister Farrakhan and they don't, you know, but um, at the end of the day, you know, Brother Ishmael Bey, your argument was defeated from the jump. Why? Because once Brother Reza Islam prove to you that from out of L. Ron Hubbard's own mouth, he says this is a compilation of 50,000 years of history. You know, uh, we're taught Master Fahd Muhammad was able to, you know, backtrack in his mind 150,000 years of history. But L. Ron Hubbard is telling you that this is a compilation of writings of some of the wisest men 50,000 years ago, I'm paraphrasing, but this is their works. This is not mine. We know that the Caucasian white man is only, what, 7,000 years old? No more than 7,000 years old? He was given 6,000 years to rule, not to exceed 7,000, because in that 7,000 year, he would be ate up, he would be destroyed, he would be annihilated in this universe. So it doesn't belong to L. Ron Hubbard. 
It belongs to the original man. Who wrote the Holy Quran and Bible? Not those divine evils that translated it and mistranslated and did all that. And no. It comes from the original people, the original man. We wrote it. So my thing is, and, and it's, it's crazy because, you know, I always get on brothers that's five percenters, you know, mainly my brothers in the nation of gods and earths for not understanding their knowledge degree. But it shows that brothers who follow the teachings of the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad don't understand their student enrollment. You don't understand your knowledge degree. Because once you understand the knowledge degree, then I'm the real Buddhist. I'm the real Scientology or Dianetics. I'm the real uh, Kemetic priest. I'm the real voodoo priest. I'm the real Christian. I'm the real... All of that, anywhere there's knowledge in this universe and intelligence, guess who it belongs to? That's mine. That's yours. That's his. That's his. Whoever studies that teaching of the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad and understands that, it belongs to me. So what L. Ron Hubbard is, is teaching the people you know, you're making all of these other claims about, uh, uh, what was it? Uh, oh, somebody said that he talking about abortion, killing babies. Oh, uh, he's talking about smoking cigarettes. Oh, oh. <laughs> in the nation of Islam, we don't really teach any of that stuff, brother. So what does that have to do with us? We don't promote abortions and stuff. So what does that have to do with us? We're only getting from it, extracting from it, the mental mechanics, the mental technology in it, what is useful in it. Because what is useful in it is mathematical. And if it is mathematical, it belongs to me. Allah, the original man, the supreme being black man. I don't understand how that kept flying over the heads. You know, like the brother was trying his best and brother Reza Islam was just like, da, 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 da. <laughs> just like brother Reza Islam, he don't, brother Reza don't got no sword. Brother, brother Reza got a gun. He got a machine gun. He got the L guard you now. Just, you know, just, he just, Blasting their brains, knocking the falsehood teachings out. You know, the brother's been through it. He says for 16 years he's been studying it and he's been through it. So you're talking about one or two isolated incidences where he's telling you, brother, I'm, I've, I've seen hundreds of white people that I've met or people in general that they don't do that. They don't, you know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, it's not written in the teachings. It's not written in Dianetics, in the study. It's not written in Scientology. It's nowhere written in there. That's just a person's own personal opinion from a white person, from a divine evil at the end of the day. You know, we know the black man could be a devil too. Just like white people, we could act just like that. But only white people are divinely evil because even before they were brought into existence, it was already thought or it was already an idea in the mind of the supreme being that this people would be the carriers of that negative brown germ within the black man. So the white man is a divine evil. White people are divinely evil. But if they study from 35 to 50 years or the, the study of Dianetics, that mental mechanics, they're still devils. However, they can at least come among the original people now to some degree and do business, trade and commerce, you know, some level of business and association can at least take place at that point. But he has to at least be cleared 
in order for that to even happen. That's all they're teaching. That's all they're saying. I mean, it's not rocket science. I don't understand what the whole rift is. My whole thing, I'm just going to speak for myself. When, when the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan first told us to take on Dianetics as a course of study, my whole thing was, well, what white people have we seen this work on that are, you know, well, my whole thing was this, uh, is Minister Farrakhan saying white people are not evil no more? You know, because in our lessons, it says that it would take a 600 year process to graft him back into the original. So are we saying that we are doing that 600 year uh, work in just a little 25 or 35 to 50 years time? Are we saying that? Or are we saying somewhat the white man has been cleared of, you know what I'm saying? Or, you know, that was just my whole thing. But as far as him telling us to take it on of a co as a course of study, I didn't have no problem with that. Because I know the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, first of all, is a wise man. And the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad, he, he's sitting in the seat of the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad as his national representative. And the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad called him my minister, Minister Farrakhan, to show that the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad held him in high regard. You can call it what you want. But he said, this is my one of my greatest, you know, minister in the wilderness of North America, in the hills of North America. I'm paraphrasing the quote of the messenger, 1972 Savior's Day. You know, that's around the time I'm born, you know, and the messenger is given these instructions. And he's like, this is my minister. What he does or where he tells you to go, go, where he tells you to stay from, stay from, you know. When he gets us, uh, uh, the messenger said, he uh, uh, to the other side, he's not going to say, look what I've done, but look what Allah has done. Minister Farrakhan has proven to be a humble man. He's been studying way longer than I was born. So if Minister Farrakhan asks me to take on Dianetics or asks the people in the Nation of Islam or students of the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad to take that on as well as a course of study, along with our 120 lessons or our supreme wisdom and along with our study guides, you know, the basis for community development. And, 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 and if the minister acts that of us, I don't see no problem in saying, no, I do not. The minister's a wise man. Now, of course, I'm going to have questions, you know, because as scientists, I want to know, I, I want to see, uh, what they call it, like a flow chart, if you will. I want to see a study, a case study of white people that have studied Dianetics and have been cleared and over the next 10, 15, 20, 50 years, we've been just monitoring them, just studying them to just see the results of are they still really, you understand what I'm saying? I want to see, th this is my concern. But the whole, oh, well, we studying this white man's teaching, oh, this what? It is not his to begin with. It belongs to us. That argument is null and void, brother. Null and void. The Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad told us to study the white man, Dale, Dale Carnegie, as the brothers mentioned, and his relationship with people and ha the handling, the proper handling of people, a white man. told us to study the Jews, the so-called Jews, the ones who sit in the seat of the synagogue of Satan, these white people that call themselves Jews, these divine evils. The messenger told us to study them and all of their workings and study their workings in business because they're successful and they don't make excuses for their shortcomings. The Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad, I think it was the Savior's Day, he had, uh, 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 not the KKK, but the neo-Nazis come to uh, the mosque. And they sat right up in the front. And I think the messenger even allowed one of them to speak, get up and speak on the rostrum. And the messenger said, 
when they say something of truth, you bear witness. He instructed us this, brothers. So for these two brothers, brother Ishmael Bey and brother uh, Kevin, y'all are like brother Riza Islam said, y'all really not follow. I mean, I got a question. Are y'all really followers of Elijah Muhammad and his supreme wisdom? You know, I'm a five percenter. I follow the father and the example that he left for us. But the father's not here today. So Minister Farrakhan is like unto the father or should be according to the five percenters. That's how we should look at Minister Farrakhan because the same sway that the father had on the youth back during the 60s, the teenagers, is the same sway that Minister Farrakhan had on the youth in the 80s and the 90s. Look how many rappers have put his name in music and songs, including myself. So Minister Farrakhan is a wise student. He is one of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad, if not the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. He is, he is one of his star-studded students. Probably one of the greatest ministers that the most honorable Elijah Muhammad ever produced in the wilderness of North America. You could take it or leave it alone. We didn't have Mexican ministers back during the time of, of the messenger. We didn't have ministers in the UK and, you know, uh, uh, Africa and in the, in the Caribbean. And, and But look how many people bear witness that there's no God but Allah and the honorable Elijah Muhammad is his is, 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 is messenger. Look how many people bear witness to the teachings under Minister Farrakhan's guide, un under his watch. So I think he's doing a hell of a job. You know, as the scripture says, Jesus, uh, the people, uh, uh, they spoke in tongues. He, he, he spoke to the people in different tongues. This is what it's taught. It's not, you know, what they teach in a church, the spooky teaching. <laughs> Niggas jumping around, catching the, you know, clapping and shouting holy water. No, we're not. No, he's able to speak to people that speak French, people who speak Arabic, people who speak Spanish, people who speak whatever. He's able to reach these people. So... At the end of the day, brothers, if the minister asks us to take on a course of study, an extra course of study, Dianetics, I don't have no problem with that. Like I said, I may have questions concerning that, but I'm going to listen to what he says and I'm going to take that and study it too, because I think he knows what he's talking about when he says it can it can aid us in our lessons, in our 120, in, in, in our raising the, the people. I don't have a problem with that. So, like I said, man, you know, I don't want to make this too long, you know, uh, in the, in the, in the church of Scientology, they refer to their God as, what is it? Zenu. My God is a law. They refer to L. Ron Hubbard as, you know, what a prophet or the holy prophet or a holy angel or whatever the, the case may be. To me, he's a divine evil. That's all he is to me. But I understand my brothers in the mosque who out of respect have to say what they what they say. I, I, I understand protocol because I was in that mosque fixture or setting when I was in prison and I had to follow a protocol like that. But at the end of the day, I'm not in the Nation of Islam registered, so no one can sit me down or anything like that. So I'll tell you, brother Ishmael Bey or whatever. Yeah, the white man is still a devil, always has been, always will be. You know what I'm saying? This teaching of Dianetics only makes him more, uh, you know, he can come among us and we can do business to a degree and we can trade and we can, you know, certain things like that. But we don't intermarry. We don't, you know, we don't do any of that stuff with the Caucasian white people. You know what I'm saying? So just my point, my last point, just in closing, brother, you know, like I said, you know, um, you know, look, look, let's look at martial arts, you know, like I've studied martial arts and stuff, but you know, when you go to your martial arts instructor, when you go to his dojo, you know, um, he may have his little Buddha statue over there or so-called Buddha statue. We know Buddha was a black man, original man. 
Asian type features or whatever, but that's what he worships. He has his little altar with his little incense over there and he makes his little prayers and supplications to that. I don't do that. I'm going there to learn the, the, the technology of martial arts. That's, that's all I'm doing. Self-defense technology, martial arts, the skill. That's all I'm going there to extract because it really belongs to me anyway. Africa is the home of martial arts, all martial arts and fighting. So anywhere in this knowledge, uh, I'm sorry, anywhere in this universe we, where we go or travel, anywhere there's knowledge, that belongs to me because I understand my knowledge degree in the student enrollment. The original man is the Asiatic black man, the maker, the owner, the cream of the planet Earth, the father of civilization and the God of this whole entire universe. That's me. So once brothers understand that degree, I'm everything. I'm the best of everything. I'm the God over all of that. That's all it teaches you. So with that being said, family, I leave you as I came in the greeting words of peace. Y'all brothers, check that out, man. That debate, very good debate. That needs to be studied. Very good debate. But y'all check that out, man. I leave you as I came in the greeting words of peace. We said in Arabic language. Assalamu alaikum. Peace to the gods, peace to the earths and all of the righteous families of the planet. Peace.